Okay, today we're going to take a look at first time setup of the Q-Series panel. Uh, and this is when you turn the panel on for the first time. It goes through this little setup routine right here, so we're going to walk through that. Obviously, the first thing it wants to know is what language. Um, English is going to be selected by default. Just go ahead and give that a next. And here it's going to ask for a device name, which you don't need. This is one of those things that you can absolutely skip uh, because any this is one of those things where any adjustments you need to make to what the panel is identified as or things of that nature, that can happen once you get to the home screen and you can go into settings and make those adjustments. You don't have to do that here. So this is another thing you can just go ahead and skip. Same kind of thing here. If you want to go ahead and put the panel on the network here, you can do that. But this is one of those cases where, again, you're probably better served waiting until you can get into get to the panel's home screen, actually get to the settings so you can uh, access advanced settings and do those things, uh, which would probably be beneficial uh, for, for a number of folks, depending on their network setup. So once again, you can do that here if you want to. My recommendation would be to go ahead and skip it. Wait until you get to the panel's home screen. Pick whatever theme you want. The, the new line theme is the default, but you're welcome to choose whichever theme we have here. We have some colorful ones if you want to go ahead and choose those. But again, something else you can always change in the settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and go next. It does need a pass key here because the Q-Series has user accounts, and it's going to put an owner account on the panel regardless. So this is one thing you can't skip. you got to go ahead and enter a pin here. It can be whatever you want, and for purposes of, you know, just simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and give it zeros. There we go. Give that a next. Okay. You really, do you really want to do that? Yep, I really want to do that. Okay. Verifying that, and then boom. And then, of course, terms and conditions. Just go ahead and give that an accept. It's uh, checking. Hey, it's so telling us that our system is up to date. Uh, 1.1.31 is, in fact, uh, the latest version of the firmware. If you have something earlier than that, don't panic because there's an update procedure uh, that will allow you to get it to the latest version. So there's really nothing to, there really is nothing to be done here. Just go ahead and give that a next. And then there you go. Now you're at the login screen. Verify by hitting that owner button, typing in that pin. And there we go. Now that we're at the home screen, we can go into panel settings and make all the adjustments. So that's first time setup. It really is a very simple process. There are a couple of uh, steps that you can skip. Uh, so you, you don't necessarily have to worry about every single little thing. You just want to get it to this point so that you can make whatever adjustments you need by going into panel settings.